What's up guys? Today we're going to run through a little butt and legs workout. So we're going to start at the back of our mat. Feet about hip distance apart, standing nice and tall. On the inhale, sweep both arms up to the ceiling. The nice long spine as you hinge forward, really feeling those hamstrings open up. Bend your knees as much as you need to to plant your palms on the ground. And then slowly, step by step, start to walk out into a plank position. So having the hands directly underneath the shoulders, sliding the shoulder blades down the back. Legs are nice and long behind you. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Start to round away from the mat. Really scoop here. And then step your right foot right between your hands. Left palm will plant down. Right arm will reach up to the ceiling. Looking for a stretch in the front of the hips and the upper back. Really lengthening towards the ceiling on the inhale. And spinning open a little bit deeper on that exhale. And one more time, deep inhale, open up. And exhale, twist. Now slowly place that right hand to the inside of your right foot. Start to turn it to the right into your wide straddle. Nice flat back here again, feeling the hamstrings open up. And then start to bend through your right knee to that side lunge, really dragging the right knee open over the first and second toes, taking those hands to a prayer position, opening up through the heart. And then take it over to the left, left knee back, it's really driving the outside of the right foot. Again, take it to the right, and then to the left. Two more times like that. You take it over to the right, really sitting those hips back, and take it over to the left. One more time, take it to the right. The head is going to turn back into that lunge. Place those palms down. Draw that right knee towards your chest. Engage to that core. Step the right leg back. Hips up and back. Downward dog. Pressing those heels towards the ground. And then slowly start to walk those hands in. Trying to keep your legs straight. If you can, watching what those knees are doing. And then slowly starting to roll on up at the top. Big inhale, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, start to lower and pull. Plant those palms. Start to walk back out into that plank with control. This time, left knee draws into your chest. If you really scoop open, place that left foot down between the hands. Right palm down. Left arm reaches up to that ceiling. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale, keeping that right leg nice and strong and drawing back. Again, inhale and exhale. Then this time that left hand comes to the inside of the left foot. So to turn towards your right. Nice wide straddle. Come on up with that flat back. Hands come to the heart. Then through that left knee as you sit those hips back. And then take it over to the right, getting those hips to open up a little bit, firing up through the glutes. And take it to the left. Again, take it to the right. And to the left. One more time, each side to the right, sitting those hips back. And to the left. Now slowly come on back through center, and then this time start to bend that back knee. You bend it down, stretch it long, bend and stretch. So keeping those fingertips nice and long. Four more like this. You got one, take it down for two, take it down for three, and straighten that leg on four. Go ahead and step that right leg forward. Left leg goes back, finding that front knee directly over that ankle. Open heart, bend it here, down and rest. Right. Down and press. Really flexing back through that left foot. Bend and stretch. Hold the stretch on this one and then step full feet forward. Now start to take your hands underneath your feet. Sink your hips back. Open up through the heart. Really find the traction in here. Pressing the feet into the hands, the hands into the feet. And then see if you can keep your upper body connected to your hands. Start to hold a little bit deeper. Two more times like that. Inhale, sit those hips back, open up. And then exhale, fold. And then one more time. Inhale, open up. And exhale, lift those hips. And slowly sit 
lift those hips back, release your hands from underneath your feet, and slowly start to roll on up. Once you get to the top, have your feet a little bit wider than your hips, and then really grounding through the tripod of your foot. So if you think of two points at the front and then the heel at the back, the entire time here, we wanna make sure we feel equal weight. We're gonna start to hinge from those hips, sitting those hips back, Knees stay over those ankles, feet stay grounding. So you can take your hands to your heart for a little bit more of a challenge here. You should already feel those quads start to work and see engage. Now find an inch to get down one inch and up one inch. Tiny lower, tiny lift. We really want to think about very small isometric movements here. Okay, the core stays firing up, back stays nice and long. Start to single that pulse just. And pulse. Okay, a pulse is a very controlled down movement, really trying to fight that rebound. Take it down and down. Woo, you should already start to feel that fire. And then we take it full range. So we sit deeper and then lift. Deeper and then lift. So at the top, little squeeze of that seat. We want to make sure that that spine stays nice and neutral. Four more like this. Four. Take it down for three. Take it down for two. Once you get to the bottom again, find that inch. Take it down one inch and up one inch. Tiny lower, tiny lift. See if you can make that inch even smaller. Now single it up. Just pulse and pulse. Good. Check in with that back. Really relax those shoulders. And then make sure you're still grounding through the feet. It's almost as if you're gripping the floor here. We take it back to that full range. We sit deeper, we lift and squeeze. Sit and lift. Woo, again, little squeeze of that seat at the top. Go bend and press. Down and up. Bend and press. Now hold it low on this one. Start to take that right leg behind you into that lunge. And then inhale, sweep those arms up to the ceiling, square off those hips. Two counts, you take it forward for two, then you bend for two again, forward and then bend. Good, trying to keep those knees at that 90 degree angle. Forward for two and bend. Now one count here, take it forward and bend. Forward and bend. Woo, feeling that heart rate getting up. Four more. Four. Three. Nice strong arms here. Two. Hold it low on one. Step that right leg forward into that squat. Never straighten those legs. Take that left leg back into that lunge. Square up. You take it forward and straighten. And down and bend again. Forward. And bend. Nice two press here. Forward. For two, and then down for two. Nice deep bend in that back leg. Singles here, it's full. And bend. Good, make sure that core stays tight. Strong arms. Straighten and bend. Lift and lower. We got four more here. Four, stay strong here guys. Three, here's two. We always hold, so take it down to that hold, and then we step back into that squat again, trying not to straighten those legs. Take those hands back to that prayer position, pulse it out right here, pulse down, and down. Whew. I know that it burns, try and stick with me. You got eight more right here, a little deeper, one, two, here's three, you got four, go five, for six. Now just hold it low right here, a little deeper, ground through those feet, you got this, really traction those heels in, find your glutes here. 10 more counts, you got 10, two, three, four, one more inch, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then come out on 10, give those legs a quick little shake. All right, for our next step, we are gonna come down into a tabletop position. So you can either do this up on your hands or down on those elbows. Just make sure your hands or your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders, knees are directly underneath your hips. And then I really want you to press down through your chins and brace through that core. It is if we're balancing a glass of water here the 
entire time. These movements are controlled and intentional. So start to draw your right heel in towards your seat. Flex your foot, and then we lift that right right here. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. So if you're really looking to get into the crease of your seat, right with your hamstring meets your glute. You lift, squeeze, lower, resist. Lift, squeeze, lower, resist. Up and down. Nice long neck, nice relaxed shoulders. Four more here. Four. Take it up for three. Here's two. Hold it at the top on one tiny little pulse right here. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. So if I were watching you, right, I would barely want to see you move here. That's how small and tight these movements are. It's just a tiny contraction to get right where the seat meets the hamstring. We're going to double this count right here. Go up, up, hold. Think tighter, tighter, hold it. One, two, and three. Got four more, just like that. Go up, up, one. Go tighter, tighter, two. Go up, up, three. Now we kick that leg two count. Take it out for two and pull it in for two. It's like a five-step curl for that hamstring. Toes face straight down towards that mat. Knees stay steady. We got singles right here. You take it out, bend it in. Take it out, bend it in. Nice and strong like you were trying to kick a door. Four more right here. Four. Here's three. Here's two. Hold that leg straight on one. Now challengers. Maybe start to poke that left knee up off that mat. Bend that right heel back in. Little pulse up here. Pulse up and up. Woo, breathe through, almost there, lift, and lift. You got eight more right here, go. One, two, three, four, here's five, six, seven, and then gently come on down on eight. Take a quick sit back in those heels, keep breathing, and deep breath up. And then we'll slowly start to wave forward towards the other side. So again, elbows underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Pull your left heel in towards your seat. Start to lift right here, up and down. Lift and lower. Check in with that glass of water on your back. Really stay steady through those hips. You lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four more here. Four. Take it up for three. Take it up for two. We hold it at the top. A little pulse up right here. Pulse up and up. Good. Notice if your weight is leaning over to the right, really try and square off your heart and your hips. Lift, lift. Tiny, tiny contractions right where that seat meets that hamstring. We double it out. We go tighter, tighter. Hold it. One, two, three. Up, up, stop. Really trying to get deeper into this movement. Up, up, hold. Lift, lift, hold it. One, two, three. Four more here. Go up, up, one. Up, up, two. Lift, lift, three. We kick it up. You can't kick it out. For two, and then pull it in. Go, kick it out, and pull it in. Take it out, two, and then in, for two. It's like a five-step curl, so really resist. One count here, you have eight. Press it out for seven. See if you can keep that knee steady, just the bottom of your leg extends. Push, and pull, four more, four. Take it out for three. Take it out for two. Hold it long on one, maybe tuck those right toes. Move that right knee up to hover. Hips stay square, bend the knee in half. Pulse it out, pulse up and up. Good, we're almost there. Breathe through it, lift and lift. You got eight more right here. Go, one, two, three, four. Here's five, six, seven, and then let it go on eight. Again, quick sit back in those heels. Breathe it out, keep it down. And then keep back tail. Alright, slowly start to come on up. You're gonna make your way to lie flat on your back. 
We got one more set here. So this is called shoulder bridge. Feet flat, knees bent, arms down by your side. Really open up through that chest, square off through those hips. Now start to pop your hips about six inches off the mat here. It's about a fist distance. We're really focusing on the tractioning in of the heels, the lengthening forward of those knees. Start to find a little pulse, pulse up and up. So big squeeze of that seat. You can even take your hands there to make sure that they're working. Okay, and then every time you tuck those hips up, you really tug those heels in. You really tug and tug. Now lower it here, down and up. Lower and lift. You should really be feeling this already, right? This seat is exhausted from that last set and from those lunges. Lower and lift. Really articulating through the spine each way. So leading with the ribs on the way up and then leading with the hips on the way down. Lower and lift. Little quicker, down, up, down, up. And even though you are moving quicker, it's still with control. We're still tugging those heels in. Down, tug, down, tug. Hold it up, little tuck right, tuck left, tuck right, tuck left. Just think about pressing through one heel deeper than the other, and then naturally those hips will sway right here. Little tuck right, tuck left. Take it center, back to that pulse, pulse tug, pulse tug. Really tuck those heels in, tug and tug. Big squeeze with that seat, maybe check in with those hands. Make sure that it's working here. You lift and lift. We take it back to the mat. We roll it down, we roll it up, we roll it down and roll it up. Now check in, make sure you're rolling down the center of your spine, right? You want to create equal balance in the right and left side. We lower, we lift. Simple movement, but effective. Okay, really hugging that in line as you come up, as if there is a ball between your thighs, and you'll feel the inner thighs start to work a little quicker. Down, up, down, up. Ooh. Keep tugging through those heels, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Down, up, down, up. Can you keep that same control here? Lower, lift, lower, lift. Take it to the top and that pulse. Up and up. Really tug through those heels. You take it back to that right and left. Little tuck right, tuck left, tuck right, tuck left. Press and press. Now take it and a quick pulse. Up, 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 up. Keep tugging those heels. Tug, 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 tug. What you put in is what you get out here, guys. The more resistance you put in, the better results you're going to see. Ten more right here. You got ten. Two, three, four. Here's five, six, seven, eight. Now we're just going to hold. Tug those heels in. Lengthen the knees forward. Squeeze that midline. You have five, four, three, two. And then slowly roll it down on one. Let those knees sway side to side. Open it up. And then take a figure four, stretching your right ankle over that left thigh, really drawing the right knee open. Interlace the behind the right thigh. And then switch your stretch. Left ankle over that right thigh, really drawing in, pressing open through that left knee to get that stretch into the seat. And then give both knees a hug, rolling out side to side. Nice work, guys. I hope you like that workout. So, a couple quick exercises today. If you want more from me, please, please join my online classes. You can check out the schedule on my website, BrittanySouza.com. Uh, it's under fitness and then online studio. Thanks so much.